Imagine stepping into the darkness of a cave, your only light flickering on the ancient walls around you. The air is thick and untouched for hundreds of thousands of years. Suddenly, your flashlight reveals something eerie, bones scattered across the floor. But these aren't just any bones. They belong to a species of ancient humans with brains no larger than an orange, yet displaying behaviors once thought to be exclusive to Homo sapiens. This is Homo naledi, a shocking discovery that has left scientists baffled. How could a creature with such a small brain have engaged in complex rituals? Could this species be the missing link we've been searching for? Or does their existence suggest something even more profound? That intelligence, culture, and symbolic thought might not be unique to modern humans. The deeper we dive into their story, the more our understanding of human evolution begins to unravel. In 2013, a team of researchers ventured deep inside the Rising Star Cave system in South Africa, expecting to find nothing more than rocks and dirt. Instead, they stumbled upon a hidden chamber, filled with fossilized bones, hundreds of them, undisturbed for thousands of years. At first they, but they believed it was an ancient graveyard, perhaps belonging to early humans. But when they analyzed the remains, they uncovered something truly astonishing. These bones belong to a species unlike anything seen before. Named Homo naledi, this mysterious ancestor had a bizarre mix of features. Their hands had curved fingers, suggesting they were adept climbers, possibly spending time in trees. Their brain, at only 500 cubic centimeters, was barely larger than that of a chimpanzee. Yet, their feet and legs were almost identical to modern humans, indicating they walked upright, just like us. But the most shocking detail. The way their bodies were positioned suggested that Homo naledi had deliberately placed their dead inside the chamber, possibly as part of a ritual. This revelation sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Burial practices have long been considered a hallmark of human intelligence, a sign of symbolic thought, respect for the dead, and even early spiritual beliefs. If Homo naledi truly engaged in such behaviors, it would mean that complex cognition existed in a species with a brain less than half the size of ours. Could intelligence function differently than we ever imagined? Radiocarbon dating revealed another mind-blowing fact. Homo naledi lived around 250,000 to 300,000 years ago. That means they coexisted with early Homo sapiens. For decades, we believed our direct ancestors were the only species developing advanced behaviors during this time. But this discovery suggests otherwise. Could Homo naledi and early humans have encountered each other? Did they share knowledge? Or did they compete for resources in a prehistoric struggle for survival? The implications are staggering. Some scientists suggest that if Homo naledi buried their dead, they might have possessed language, or at least some form of communication. Others speculate they could have used tools, even though none have been found. The most radical theory? Some researchers claim they might have used fire deep inside the caves, allowing them to navigate the pitch-black underground labyrinth. Fire control is one of the most significant milestones in human evolution, enabling cooking, warmth, and protection. If Homo naledi truly harnessed fire, it would shake the very foundation of what we thought intelligence meant. Could they have possessed abilities that we, until now, believed were exclusive to modern humans? To truly understand Homo naledi, we have to place them in the grand puzzle of human evolution. For decades, scientists believed that our lineage followed a relatively straightforward path. Primitive ancestors like Australopithecus evolved into Homo habilis, who then gave rise to more advanced species like Homo erectus, eventually leading to Homo sapiens. But the discovery of Homo naledi shattered that simplistic narrative, revealing that human evolution was not a straight line, 
but a tangled web of interwoven species, some of which may have coexisted and even interacted with one another. So where does Homo naledi fit? Their physical traits seem to place them at a crossroads between ancient and modern. Their small brain and curved fingers resemble the much older Australopithecus afarensis, the famous species that includes Lucy, who lived over three million years ago. But their legs, feet, and bipedal stance are strikingly similar to Homo erectus, the first human species to spread beyond Africa. If Homo naledi was alive 300,000 years ago, that means they were living at the same time as Homo sapiens, Homo heidelbergensis, and even the Neanderthals. Could they have interacted? One of the biggest questions is whether Homo naledi shared a common ancestor with us, or if they represent a completely different experiment in human evolution, one that ultimately did not survive. Some researchers speculate that they may have evolved from an early branch of Homo habilis, an ancestor thought to be the first toolmaker. Others suggest they might have been a late surviving remnant of a much older lineage, possibly even dating back two million years. If true, this would mean Homo naledi represents an ancient form of humanity that somehow persisted alongside much more advanced human species for an astonishingly long time. And then there's the big question. Did Homo naledi interbreed with other human species? We know that Homo sapiens interbred with both Neanderthals and Denisovans, leaving genetic traces that still exist in modern humans today. Could the same be true for Homo naledi? So far, no DNA has been successfully extracted from their fossils, meaning the answer remains locked in the past. But if future discoveries reveal genetic links, it could mean that Homo naledi didn't just vanish. They may still live on within us in ways we never expected. What if they weren't just a separate species, but a distant forgotten branch of our own extended family? What if their influence on our history is deeper than we ever imagined? The search for answers continues, and every discovery could rewrite the story of what it means to be human. Every discovery about Homo naledi raises more questions than answers. If this small-brained species engaged in burial practices, possibly used fire, and lived alongside early humans, what other surprises await us in the fossil record? Could other unknown species of hominins shape the course of history in ways we have yet to understand? And here's the biggest twist of all. If intelligence, symbolism, and culture can arise in creatures with brains far smaller than ours, then everything we thought we knew about human uniqueness might be wrong. What if other intelligent species existed? Ones we've never found, or ones lost to time? What if the history of humanity is far more complex than a simple evolutionary ladder leading to us? And before you go, did you know that only 1% of the people who watch our videos are actually subscribed? That means 99% of you are exploring these mysteries with us, but without hitting that button. If you love uncovering the lost secrets of history, consider subscribing. I tease, free, it helps us a lot and who knows. The next big discovery might just rewrite everything we thought we knew about human evolution.